Hi guys and welcome to Viva Barca Plus. In this episode, we are going to be discussing about our game against Atletico Madrid, 4 goals to 2. What a victory it was, what an important win I would say. Of course, taking us to the 4th position on the league standings. Now we are on the Champions League spot. And of course, we are going to be discussing on how everything went about. Then to conclude, we are going to be discussing on the match reactions from our boss Xavi and also Ronald Araujo who spoke after the game. We are going to be discussing on everything they had to say as we progress so guys as we get right into it without any much waste of time please do well to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever i post a video give this video a like and make sure to watch this video right up to the very end it was a chance to get to the top four and guys we did it very well brilliant display from fc barcelona a chance to rocket into the top four of the league lay at Barcelona's hands today as we face fourth place Atletico Madrid at home. Some heated comments from the managers before that game provided their weighted clash with some much needed foundation and the game that followed did not disappoint at all. Of course, Xavi opted to give a first start to Adama Traore who made his second debut for the club. Ferran Torres played as a central striker with Obama Young starting on the bench. So from the first whistle, Barcelona dominated the game very well. In possession, they seemed flawless and pressed high when off the ball. However, it was Simeone's side that struck first. In just the 8th minute, Luis Suarez played a lovely through ball to find Yannick Carrasco in the box. The Belgian fired a low shot past Mark andre Ter Stegen to give Los Roger Blancos the lead. Barcelona did not take long to respond. Two minutes later, Dani Alves delivered a wide cross to Jordi Alba. The left back volleyed it first time from outside the box to score a screamer of a goal. Barcelona resumed their dominating play with Adama Traore wrecking havoc on the right wing. He was so good, so brilliant. He did excellently well, I must say. The new signing had his moment in the 21st minute when he got past the defender and delivered a sweet cross into the box. Though Ferran Torres missed the header, Gavi sensationally converted the cross to give Barcelona the lead. The lead was further extended two minutes from half-time. Dani Alves took a free kick to find Gerard Piquet. The centre-back hit the woodwork before Ronald Araujo volleyed the rebound to make it 3-1. Heading to half-time, Barcelona seemed poised to take an easy win home. The second half are off to a flyer, of course for Xavi's side as they added a fourth goal. The delivery from Gavi was wonderfully dominated by Pedri and Ferran before Alves scored a stunner. Just when there seemed to be no way back for Atletico, a steep turn of events, you know, came. It all begin began with a second goal for the visitors, courtesy of a cheeky header from Luis Suarez. In the 69th minute, an unnecessary challenge from um, Alves forced the referee to show him red. Barcelona were down to 10 men with 20 minutes to go. The tension now belled and the visitors took the upper hand. The possession scale shifted. With Atletico Madrid getting the better chances, Xavi was shown a yellow card while his assistant was shown red. Barcelona you know, weathered the storm with, a, with some resilient defense and well-worked passes. Despite being a man down, they managed to you know, string together some good sequences. Six minutes were added on, but it was not enough for Simeone's side. Barcelona took home all three points and now sit at the top four. Speaking after the game, manager Xavi Hernandez expressed his pleasure with the outcome, saying, The fans, the players, the staff, we all needed this victory. We were superior. This is more than just a win. The manager also touched upon Dani Alves' red card, insisting that it forced the team to alter their plan somewhat, he said. Before Dani was red carded, the game was perfect. We then, you know, had to back down a little. The first 60 minutes represent the Barca that we all want to see, he said. Xavi was also full of praise for new signing Adama Traore who impressed heavily on his second debut for Barca. He said, Adama has matured a lot and physically he is a beast, a monster. In 1v1 situations you cannot beat him. Adama is a perfect winger for me. I am convinced that he will be great for us. Come on guys, that is, I, enjoyed those, I really enjoyed those words from manager Xavi talking about Adama Traore. It, I, I was, it was so, I don't know, I'm short of words. It's a joy to see Adama play today. It was so good. It was so good. And of course, I honestly prefer him to Usman Dembele at this moment. Hopefully, 
he deliver as more games come he plays very well he has shown the promise that he can do well for this team and i think i'm so optimistic he'll do very well javi also added that he was pleased with the progress that the team had made under his total age saying it's been three months since i've been here and we have made great progress i am proud he also said that this match could prove to be the turning point for the rest of the season he said it could be a turning point, but we have to be humble and keep walking. We have been very good and we can't slow down. This style of play is what will bear us fruit, Javi added. The manager also revealed that he wanted to bring on Usman Dembele, but the red card changed those plans. He also asked fans to go easy on him after the winger was whistled um, by the supporters at the stadium. I would like to ask the fans to please stop whistling at Dembele. He's one more in the group, he said. I wanted to stop in Dembele during the second half, however, Danny's red card changed our plans. Anyhow, I please ask the fans to stop whistling Dembele, the Barca gaffer added. Javi also touched up, um, upon the, the bap that Simeone had made in the lead up to the game, replying, Simeone understands football in another way. If his team does not attack, he is fine with it. He is satisfied. If my team doesn't have the ball, I am suffering. Simeone is a great coach who everyone wants to play for. I have incredible respect for him. I'm a beginner, but the two of us want different things on the field. It's not a criticism, it is reality, Javi added. The difference between the football I won and Simeone's football was pretty clear in the first half. No, Javi later quit. The Barcelona boss was also unhappy with the inconsistent calls made by the referee and expressed his displeasure over the matter, he said. I want to do a general reflection on the state of football worldwide, not specifically because of this game and this referee, but I see inconsistent criteria when it comes to fouls. One day it's a foul, the other day it's not. The manager also stressed the importance of improving his team's defending against set pieces, saying, we have to improve a lot in set pieces. They are really good at them, much better than us, we still consider it a lot that way. We have a lot to improve in the defensive aspect of the game. Explaining his decision to start Gavi on the flanks, Javi said, Gavi is very versatile and can play in multiple positions. Today, we played with a false winger and a false striker. I was looking for superiority in midfield. Usually I want true wingers, but each game is a different world and my decisions are determined by that. Barcelona moved into fourth place in the La Liga standing after that win, we all know that. So two points clear of Atletico and two shy of Real Betis in third. Then also after that game, Ronald Araujo reacted. Of course, he was one of the goal scorers, claimed that he was happy with the display as they executed their plans perfectly. He said, we have played a tremendous match. We have played good football. We had two weeks to prepare and we did exactly what the coach told us to do, Araujo said. Of course, Araujo was also full of gratitude towards the fans for their support they showed, saying, The crowd has helped us a lot. Today it was important to win to be in the Champions League spot. The match went as planned. We are very satisfied. Highlighting the importance of the win, Araujo added, Today was the final and our only goal was to win. The mission was completed. The defender also spoke about his goal and playing with 10 men for the final 20 minutes or so, saying, My goal? When Ferran touched it, I thought it was getting away from me, but I was able to score. In the end, we had to be very careful with 10 men because we know that Atletico come from behind many games at the end. So guys, with that we come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you did enjoy the video and also hope you did subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure to do so, so you always stay up to date with the latest on FC Barcelona here on Viva Barca Plus. Until next time, bye bye.